G'day gamers, welcome to oh, one more uh, super happy awesome gaming time. Uh, today, I'm, or tonight, I'm going to play Spire's End. So this is a um, kind of like a choose your own adventure style game. Um, it's obviously going to be a spoiler, so if you haven't played this and you want to play it, I would probably say don't watch, but then please watch. Um, this is going to be the first time I've played it, so um, I guess we'll sort of go through from the start and we'll figure it out as we go. Um, so when you start, you get a whole heap of sort of instruction cards here, and this is the, this is actually the rule book, and it teaches you how to play. Uh, so I've kind of gone through and set everything up how I think it needs to go. Um, the cards kind of look like so and they kind of explain how the game's going to work and stuff like that so I'll quickly go through that just so you get the general gist of what we're going to be doing um, <clears throat> so you've got a uh, card like it's going gonna, it's gonna to ask you to reveal reveal card 10, reveal card 11 stuff like that um, as we go through uh, we're going to have allies. Now, an allies have an anatomy, which I'll show you a little camera here. Okay, so up the top here, we've got uh, their health, which is five for this big guy. And then below that, little armor stat there, which the light's kind of hurting. That's, uh, that's its armor. That's how many armor it takes. So it'll, if it gets hit, the armor will come off first, and then the health will come off. Health is also used as your action points to perform actions. And that's all these little guys down here. So the top one on this one is uh, a zero cost action, then a one, a two, a three, a four, and uh, etc. And what you'll do, you'll roll dice, and depending on what you get, that's how much damage you'll do, etc. Some of it will give you boost, which will give you health back. Uh, on your turn, you can decide to not attack, and instead of, if not, instead of not attacking, you'll rest which means after the action step, we normally do what's called a recruit, recruit, recoup step, which is uh, you'll roll a dice and up the top here, they've got a little heal stat. That's going to, um, you roll a dice and that's how much health you get back. If you've rested during that turn, you get an additional health back. Um, other things will happen. We'll kind of figure that out as we go. Uh, my heroes can die. I lose the game if all the heroes die. So we've got a hero pile here. This is our story deck. Uh, we can get loot as we go through the game. Uh, some other icons and stuff like that. Enemy cards. So the way enemies will work is we've got a little action deck here. We'll flip it over. That's what number of the action will be performed against us. So uh, our heroes will go, then the baddie will go. We go, baddie goes, we go, baddie goes. I think. I've kind of only just looked, haven't really played. So, I guess, let's, uh, let's get into it. So, uh, it was unusually dark before the moon was swallowed in red. Crimson light circled the dark orb like a bloodshot raven's eye. The ground shook and something unimaginable drilled its way out of the earth. It tore through the town with ungodly force. The streets filled with fumes and the townsfolk fell into a deep, unnatural sleep. The strong, the frail, and the innocent all disappeared under the red eclipse. The spire stood there in silence. At its base was a door left ajar. Reveal card two. You wake, horrified, gasping for air. Your head is pounding and you're covered in dust and debris. You, you unearth yourself and climb to your feet. A monstrous foreign object spirals above you, like the horn of a giant deity attacking the heavens. A quick glance reveals endless mounds of wreckage in every direction. It's strangely silent, and you see no one about. You head off through the destruction to find your uncle, your last living relative. Thankfully, his cottage is outside of the spire's wake, untouched. He left you a note. I know you will come looking for me. Don't. I deeply regret what I've done. But during this incident, 
I hid, then ran like a whimpering dog. In truth, I'm a coward, crippled by fear. You're strong, courageous, everything I'm not. That's why you must go. I suspect those missing are being held captive at that spire. Mount a rescue. Find them. Free them. I'm proud of the person you've become. You must remain strong. I fear many hardships and horrors lie ahead. Know that shame has clawed through my soul and I won't survive long. I've made sure of that. But before I go, I have some knowledge I need to pass to you. Uh, it is highly recommended that you review the instruction deck at this time. We've done that. Otherwise, reveal card three. All right, card three, chapter one. Cautious steps. You approach the door with cautious steps. I warn you, it's worse than, it's worse in there than you think, and you've imagined the unimaginable. No doubt, says an unfamiliar voice. A small creature reveals himself from behind the door. He is unkempt, a little worse for wear. His eyes appear kind. What are you? You've never seen this creature before. I've always been close, but you people are far too involved with yourselves to notice. We live right beneath you. Only this thing here is from much, much deeper. Uh, he mutters, looking up at the spire. What do you know about this? You ask, hopeful. I've squirreled around. These underdwellers have horrible red eyes. They move silently and quickly. He stops and sniffs the air. I must go. With that, he scampers off into the spire. You move to follow him when you see it. Red eyes cutting through the darkness. You attack. Reveal cards four and five. Okay, so we've got uh, the doorman. And the doorman setup. Set up your encounter as pictured below. Place the doorman in the playfield above your ally characters. Put his hit points and armor cubes next to him. Tip, bleed damage skips armor points and damage hits directly. And my camera has just dropped out. Let me fix this. What is going on? Okay. Uh, after any encounter, allies in play regain all hit points and armor points. Any status effects and boost meters are cleared. If you defeat the doorman, reveal card six. Okay. So our heroes we have at the moment are Hildgard, the Endrake, and Dane, the Rutterkin. So, I guess, what do we got? Ten health. One, two... Three, four, five, and five, and four armor. Uh, so villains don't spend action uh, health cubes like we have to spend health cubes to fight. So uh, we've got Hildgard, we've got Slingshot for free, which is on a five to eight, we do one damage. Uh, a Fanged Ferret. Uh, for one, and on a four to five, it does one. On a six to eight, it does two. Bombs away, four to six, does three. Seven to eight, does four. Um, you can kind of see there some of the stats. I don't know if you can see that. The camera's pretty horrid. Um... All right, well, let's... Uh, I think we'll do a Fanged Ferret attack. So we'll spend one. We get our D8. And we need a 4 to 5 or a 6 to 8. So we get a 1, which does absolutely nothing. <clears throat> uh, so, I believe... Let me just go through the rules here a little bit. Uh... 
uh, in an Ellis turn, the actions regroup and then upkeep. And then we go to the other action. All right. So we've done our action. So now we get to do our upkeep, which is uh, allows the option to perform one upkeep roll. There is no HP cost to recoup, so it's going to recoup. We need a four to six to get that action point back. Uh, we get a five. That gets us uh, four to six is one health point back. Uh, so let's go to Dane. Dane is going to... He's got six health, so I think... Let's... Uh, let's go a Bloodlet, which is going to cost us two. And we're looking for three to five. We'll do three damage. Six to seven, we'll do four. And an eight, we'll do three, and give us, gives the enemy bleed. Let's go... We got a three horrible rolling to start off with. So that's three damage, so we take three armor away from him. Leave him on one armor and ten health still. Uh, so now we do our heal roll. We get a three, so we don't get any health points back. And then we go to our villain. So we're going to flip over here on the deck. And we're going to perform action one, which is a slash. Uh, so. On a 1 to 4, uh, it'll hit Hillguard. On a 5 to 8, it hits Dane. So it hits Dane. Uh, so we're looking. he's looking for a 4, 5, or an 8. So he gets an 8, so he's going to do 2 damage to Dane, which takes 2 of his armor away. Now, armor are much harder to get back than health points, obviously. So that is the baddie's turn. So now we go back to our turn. So... Uh, well, Dane, he needs to get some health back. So I think we'll go with Hildard first, and then during her recoup phase, when she heals, we'll let uh, Dane have the heal if needed. So I think let's go one again. So we'll go for that fanged ferret. And we got a three, which doesn't hit. So let's recoup. On a five, uh, she's going to get one back, so we'll give that to Dane. All right, so Dane's turn. Uh, I think let's just go a bash and boast, which is going to cost us one, and we need four or higher here, and we get a three. We are off to a spectacular start. All right, Dane's going to heal. Now he gets an 8, so he gets 3 back, so he's, you can never go above, I believe, so let's just chill out at 6 there. Uh, so our villain's going to go. He is going to perform... Oh, we didn't do the heal step for him last turn. He didn't do anything. He's going to perform action 4, which is a swipe. And it's going to be on 7, Dane again. Uh, so he's looking for a 3 or higher here, and he gets a 1! Hey. Okay, so back to these guys. I think we should go with Dane first. Let's go uh, Bloodlet again. So we'll go two. Uh, and we're looking for three or higher. We get a five, uh, which is still in the first back, but it's still three. That's one armor and three health gone, or two health gone on him. So that puts him down to eight. And we'll heal. Gets a three. She doesn't heal anything. Uh, Hildridge. Uh, let's go. Uh, we'll go bombs away. So we're going to spend two. So we're bombs away. So we're looking for four or higher. But we're going to do a fair bit of damage if we get it. An eight. So we do four damage. Boom. Puts him on four. Now keep in mind, this is the first boss, and we're going horribly already. So, uh, Ildridge is going to heal. Gets two, that's nothing. Uh, we went with Dane already, so over to our baddie. He's going to perform number four on Hildridge. All right, so she's looking for he's looking for a three or higher. That's a seven. A seven is going to do three damage. That's all her armor points gone. 
and it's also going to do a C, which for her is bleed, so she, she gets three bleed tokens. So we'll put that, uh, let's make it, uh, we'll make her yellow, she can be yellow. So we'll put that yellow up there so we know that's her. And Dane can be silver. So she's on three bleed there. Oh, you can't see that, that's under my face. Let's put this one up. Uh, status effects can go over there, you don't need to see that. Put this over here. So she's got three bleed. So for those playing at home, bleed is minus one HP per turn. And that's for three turns. So, oh, knock the camera. Um, ooh, who guards not doing too well to start off with? So we've got four. Uh, so I think Dane. I think we'll go with big, big attack here. Uh, Spitfire. What is a? What do you mean? Uh, Dane has a little uh, thing over here. You can see, probably not because that camera is absolutely useless. It's a little mark there. So, um. Not sure what that means. Let us have a look through the rule book. Where are our actions? Upkeep. Not a hundred percent sure what that means. So it's bleed, bleed. And is it not on any of these? Let's go through our cards here. Oh, here we go. Represents the number you roll, for example. Okay, so that's how much damage. If I do a good roll, that's how much damage I'm going to get. So, um, I guess let's go. We'll spend... Oh, he's only got... Oh, he's got four. We'll spend three to do a split fist. We need a three or higher here. <sighs> we get a two. Damn it. Alright, let's heal. Hopefully get some back. Nope, he doesn't. First baddie, and we're... Technically, we haven't even started the game. This is the prologue. And that camera has gone again. Why is that camera going? What is it doing? I don't know why it's doing that. It's going to keep doing it probably, and it's going to be super freaking annoying. And I apologise for it for the whole one person watching, uh, which is I've probably left a window open, so it's probably me. Uh, okay, so that was Dane. He's gone. Uh, so Hillguard, it's up to you, bro. So uh, let's go. Oh, if we go bombs away, she's only got one health left. Uh, Hillguard's going to rest. So we get her little marker and we put it on the rest symbol. Which means she gets plus one now. If she rests again the next turn, she gets plus two. If rests again the next turn, she will get plus three to a roll. Uh, so we get a one. So one is uh, always a fail. So we don't even get the bonus for that rest. So that was completely wasted. Awesome times. Okay, our baddie's going to go. It's going to hit Dane, thank God. 
with a swing again, a swipe again. So three or above, he gets a six. Uh, so swipe on a six is two damage. So that's one and one, and Dane is dead. Sweet, we are going so well. So well, Dane is dead. What happens when someone dies? This is going to be a short stream, guys. Death. Uh, so, if an ally dies during an encounter, and they will, a new ally must take their place until all allies have perished. Remember, there are only seven. Um, your progression is based on choices. What you do matters. When your journey ends, have the courage to play it again. Uh, so, death. Uh, when an ally becomes their tragic end, they will trigger a death move. Uh, so, his death move is luck on chosen target. So luck is on an action roll twice and pick the best roll. If you have a double hit, roll three. All right. Uh, okay, well, obviously we're gonna give luck. Oh, actually she lost a HP because of bleed. Uh, we'll give luck to her for one turn. And Dane is gone. Tragically, ye will remember him for life's to come. And let us get ourselves acquainted with a new ally. With Reng Itaka, the outsider. She has five health and three armor. Okay, so it is now our turn after the tragic demise of Dane. Uh, so let us. We'll go Ring Attacker, I guess. And we've only got to get four health off here. Now, all her attacks have the double blade, which means that I believe. Uh, this attack ability is performed twice during one action. So pretty much all our attacks hit twice. And our top one uh, affects opposing targets in play. Uh, well, let's go. Let's go Fog Cutter. So we'll spend two. So Fog Cutter is uh, four to seven, one damage. Uh, and eight will do one damage plus Seduce. Uh, and she, she had to do set attack twice. So I guess we'll just roll the two black dice and see what happens. Uh, we've got an eight and a five. Uh, so a five fog cutter will hit for one damage. Uh, and the eight will hit for one damage and do seduce, which is take one armor from the target. They don't have armor. So that was useless, but we got two damage. All right, she's gonna heal. She gets a seven, that'll be two, so she gets full health back. Actually, no, she won't. She's gonna give health back to Hillguard, so Hillguard's got something to do. Uh, all right, Hillguard, I guess we will. Well, let's attempt to do bombs away. So we've got two here, that's how that rest token goes, because we've activated. Oh, she's gonna bleed again, sorry. We're leaving her very open to attack and dying here. We're putting all our hopes on this one attack. We need a four or higher. We get the four, players. This camera is super delayed. I apologize. Uh, so that is three damage. Boom. That is enough to kill it. Uh, nothing specific happens. So if we defeat it, we go to card six. So everyone gets their health and armor back. Three... Uh, so we've got four, five, six, and three armor for Hillguard, and five and six, yep. Alrighty, card six. Victory, plus one, increase ally armor point threshold by one. Uh, uh, oh, she was meant to have luck as well, but she got it anyway. Uh, pull card 32 and mark this accomplishment. 
Oh, look at that, 32. Right on the nose. Ally threshold counters. Uh, uh, so everyone's threshold is plus one for armor. So I guess they get their armor now. Uh, the creature is bleeding on the floor facing you. He shifts a bit, still alive. What have you done with them? You know it understands, regardless of what language it speaks. Around him are keys, at least ten of them. Some are chained to him, others loose. Two keys are directly in front of you. It could be your imagination, but it looks like one is beginning to move. Uh, we must decide. Uh, finish him off and take everything. Leave him, let's take what he has, has and move on. And let's take him captive. Hmm. Uh, what should we do? Um. Uh, I think well, let's just leave him. We'll take what he has and move on. I think. So let's just discard that. So we need to reveal card eight. Uh, heads up, you rife with your creature's clothing and find nothing. You move to pick up a key on the floor. The key slides towards him and into his hand. You raise your weapon. The creature sits and waits. He's breathing, shallow and weak. Roll 1d8 and see what happens. Da -da -da -da! Four. His eyes start to glow a bright red. Instinctively, you slice him in half. So our decision didn't really make. We've killed him anyway. His insides spill onto the floor in a glowing pool of molten red. You take the key from his clutches. It's yours. Reward the first key. Reveal 10. Let's put these over. The first key. Equip this card. Reveal 13. This key allows one dice roll on locks. Uh, so there's two types of equipment. There are story equipment, which is a little book down here, and there is some other type of equipment. I think each hero can only have three of said equipment, or is it just I can only have three? Equipment! Uh, per an ally, we can have three combat items, and story items are unlimited. So I guess let's attach this to... Uh, raggy, ringy, ringer. Uh, reveal card thirteen. Uh, we'll just put these other unrevealed ones off to the side. Sunshine. Sunbeams punch through the dusty air onto the back wall. The light blazes a hot orange in between two corridors. There are signs of a struggle. A dead underdwelling is lying face down in front of you with some overturned furniture. Glowing red blood trails along the floor haphazardly towards the left. You suddenly feel warm. Humid air hit the back of your neck. Something tall and thin darts through the sunlight. Slenderman. You wait a moment and brace yourself for an attack, but none comes. In the midst of this chamber, stark isolation, you hear a hum. There is a small flicker of light from the left corridor, and the humming increases. The orange rays of sunlight start to fade away as the morning begins to pass. The room glows dark. Dun, dun, dun. You should move along. Uh, I will follow the, ta the tall, thin creature into the corridor on the left, or I want to avoid mysterious creatures in the dark. I'll go the corridor on the right. Okay. What should we do? Hmm. Do we follow Slender Man and most likely get attacked? Or do we avoid him and go to the right? Oh, 
I think we will let fate decide. One to four, we go left. Five to eight, we go right. All right, we're going to go right. We're going to avoid. So we're going to draw card 17. That is a uh, red card under that, which I believe means a monster. The twins. Giant pillars mark the entrance to the next corridor. Obsidian tile stretches in every direction. It's dark, unsettling, and uncomfortably warm. As you cross the chamber floor, two dark forms appear from either side. They slide towards you with supernatural speed, as if pushed by a sudden violent wind. They attack in unison. Roll 1d8. We got a 6. The masked figure on the left makes the first move. Three swift punches strobe at your chest. Punishment. An ally su suffers two damage. Start the encounter. Well, that's dick. Um, let's go. Alright, who's going to take it? Hildegard can take the two. That's two armor gone from Hildegard. Alright, so we flip these bad boys over. Uh, the twins set up. Many of the twins' actions occur twice per turn, as indicated by the double sword icon on the action bar. Roll twice and perform them as separate attacks at the same target. As you battle the twins, place all action cards they perform in a line on the playfield. Uh, if either of these two combinations occur in rows 5 or 6, reveal card 20. Otherwise, if you survive the encounter, reveal card 21. So if two fires come up or two sixes come up in a row, we reveal card 20. Otherwise, if we survive, card 21. All right, I'll put one down here and one up here. Just so it's, oh wait, where are we? 18 and 19. Oh, that was 18. This is 19. Oh, there's only one card. Oh, good, bro. Uh, so we've got 5, 10 health, and 8 armor. Holy crap balls. 4, and 8. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get a drink. And then we will punch these filthy twins in the face. <sighs> Refreshing. <clears throat> okay. Let us move on. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, Okay, who wants to go first? Uh, oh, we've got a key. Let's mark that over there. All right, well, let's go with Hillguard. Uh, let's just... Let's just start off with a... Fiend Ferret. So we're looking for a four or a higher... Uh, oh, that was nearly an eight. Oh, two, no, doesn't get it. Does she recoup? Yeah, she gets it back. Uh, all right, ring attacky. She's got full armor, so let's go out there. Let's go three and uh, perform tattoo tu tutu tupu. I'm sure that's what it said. Okay, sure. Uh, looking for three or higher. We have seven. That is a C, which is harvest. Uh, harvest is take one HP from the target. All right. Uh, she's going to recoup and gets a three, which is absolutely nothing. All right, our baddie goes. We need to shuffle that deck because we didn't shuffle it after the last turn. Alrighty. Okay. Let us reveal, shall we? Wow, that camera is just super lagged. 
There we go, we've sort of caught up. All right, first card is a number one action. Let's put our revealed ones over here. Okay, so uh, one is a twin punch, and we're going to do it at uh, Hildgard. So looking for a five or higher. Nope, and it does it twice. Uh, gets it, so that's one to Hildgard. Okay, new round. Oh, it's got a heal. Uh, for eight, it gets two back. Uh, so it can only get one back. Yep. Uh, Alright, I think I forgot to do that a couple times on that first guy we fought. And I just seen lightning. Dun dun dun. Alrighty. Let's go Hillguard, I guess. Uh, Alright, let's just go out there. We'll go Swift Straps. We need a three or higher. Oh my god, it's a one. It's a one. No. Alright. Uh, what does Hijinx do? Uh, so cleanse ally. No bubble ally. Uh, rebuild C. Plus one armor. Uh, no, she needs to heal itself, so she does heal. So it's seven, so she gets two back. All right, uh, let's go. Ring attacky. Uh, she's just going to go... She's gonna, just going to go Babalu, which is free, so we need a 6 or higher here. And we get a 6, which is 1 damage. It's 1 armor gone. Uh, and it does that symbol, whatever that symbol means. Uh... Where is it? Uh, this attack ability affects all opposing targets. Okay. Uh, and we have to do it twice. And we failed the second one. <coughs> Alrighty. So let's heal. Four. Uh, that is one back. Alright. Our baddies. Going to attack Ringy. And do a four which is a dual slice. Uh, so on a four to six, no, it misses, and it goes again. And misses, double miss. All right, it's gonna try to heal, and it doesn't heal, bam. All right, let's go hill guard again. We'll go two for a bombs away. We want a seven, eight here, but a four or higher will hit. Six. Uh, so that is three damage. So it's three armor away. Uh, let's try and heal. Uh, we get a six. So that is one. All right, ringy, 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 ringy. Let us go. We got a bamboo punch, which is one. Seven. Uh, that is just one damage. She's going to try to heal. She gets a seven, which is two health back. Excellent. Spectacular. All right, who are the twins hitting? Uh, they are hitting a three, which will be uh, Hillguard here. And their attack is a two. All right, we haven't got a five and a six twice in a row yet. Uh, so there's dual kick, so four and a higher. Uh, they get a five, so that's one damage. And second attack is a seven, which is two damage, so that's three damage. So that's one armor gone, and then an additional two health gone. Okay. And they're going to try and heal. They get a four, which does not heal them. 
Uh, look, Hillguard is going to... I think she's going to have to have a rest, which I think will be a smart decision here. So let's check that one. Why not? Uh, all right, so she's going to heal. So we get an eight, so that's three, plus we get a bonus because we're on a rest. So that is four, so we're at full health again. Very smart decision there, I think. Uh, all right. Let's go. Uh, so if we get an eight, let's get snuff, which is minus one recruit roll. Uh, also juice, which was take one armor from the target. Uh, so I think, let's go fog cutter. So it's gonna cost us two. Uh, it's a four or higher, but if we get an eight, we get to remove one of their armor for free. And we get a one. Uh, so she goes again. And a four. So that is one damage. So that's one armor gone. Uh, she's going to heal. She gets an eight, which is three. Puts her back to full health. All right. Baddies, who are they hitting? They're hitting Ringy. They're hitting Ringy for a six. Which is Turncoat. So a four to six. Uh, we get the Turncoat ally. Which is to force an ally to attack another ally. And do the number two action. Uh, and if they get seven to eight, it's the same thing, but they both allies will hit each other. So we are wanting a one to three here. We get a four, so it, it happens. So uh, one to four, Hillguard will attack Ringy, other way around. So Ringy is going to attack Hillguard with a fog cutter, which will be attacked twice. Uh, and oh god uh, the three misses and the eight will do one damage and we'll do the B which is seduce uh, and take one armor from the target Hillguard does not have an armor so that's fine that's not too bad we we lucked out there I think all right so that was their turn they're gonna heal four no they miss it okay Hillguard we're going to do bombs away. It seems like one of their best attack, her best attack. Yeah, too much health to go any higher than that. All right, so bombs away. Oh, we get an eight. Beautiful. That is four damage. That's two armor and two health. Uh, and that's it. Uh, so we will attempt to heal. Another eight would be nice. A two, we do not heal. Uh, Rangy here, Ooh, so we move that out of the way. Rangy is, uh, I think let's just go, let's go uh, Bamboo Punch for one. No, oh, she's got full armor. Um, I think, let's go Tutupu, whatever that is, so that's three. So we're looking for a three or higher here. We get a six. So a six to seven is a C, so we just take one HP from it. I guess we add it to ourselves. Let's just say we do. If that's wrong, meh. Uh, gonna heal, four. Uh, I mean, she gets one back. Uh, Alright, so it is the twins' turn. Who are they attacking? They're attacking Hillguard. Oh, this could be dangerous. If we get another six here, we have to draw a card. Nope, it's a five. So five is a meditate. So on a four to six, two damage, seven and eight, three damage. That is a five. So that is two damage. Oh, oh, we could lose Hillguard here. We really need a one to a three. A five, nope. Hillguard is dead. So she's going to perform her death move with his elect. Choose next ally and then shuffle ally deck. Uh, it has started raining, so I don't know if you can hear that, but it has. Uh, elect. Oh, so I just get to choose who we want. Okay, so we have... Um, let's go to our crap cam. 
So we have uh, Millicent the Silk Weaver. She's five and two armor. Uh, we have Leo Frick the Forester, who's five and two armor as well. We have Kadani the Silversmith, who is five and five armor. Oh, damn. Does some big attacks as well. And we have Rolf the Kill Cow, who is five and four armor. He's got some decent attacks too. So, the question is, who do we pick? I think we should go with Kadani the Silversmith. Yeah, I think that's a smart decision. If you disagree, type it in the box. Oh, there comes that rain. And we'll turn crap cam off. All right, where we got five and five. So we've got Dennis Millsmith, uh, so I believe that was his attack, so he's going to heal, so he gets two, he does not heal, because he's shit, and he hasn't healed much at all. Um, Alright, let's get a drink, because this humidity is killing me. Yes, I will get an umbrella and I will soldier on. Uh, and no, Coke is not the major sponsor. But if they want to be, for my whole one viewership that I currently have, so I want to be able to say I'm glad to accept it. All right, where were we after that ramble? Oh, that was her health. Five, oh no, she can't go up by five. All right, let's see what you've got. Get any? Um, oh, just one second, it's really hot in this room. I'm just gonna to have to take this off for a second. I apologize. Second, yeah. okay. Let us continue. Ah, uh, Kadeni, what do we got? Uh, shield thrust five to eight. A bulwark bash, three to five, one, six to seven, two, and eight a two, and she gets an armor back. Oh, actually, she's got a bonus armor because of our uh, our threshold has been raised. Uh, mini cannon, three to five, she does two, six to seven, does three, eight does three, but she gets a shield. Uh, force deflation, 
it costs us three. Does on a three to five does three, on a six to seven does four, and on eight does four A, which is encourage, which is plus one attack to uh, to an opponent, uh, to one of the other allies. And four is a frag cannon, which is three to five does four plus a shield, six to seven four plus encourage, and eight is four plus encourage twice. Hmm. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, that's the that's the back of my camera. This is going so well. There we go. Um, woohoo! Uh, all right, anonymous, nineteen eighty nine. You need to tell me: should I go zero action points? Or four action points of my possible five. What should I spend here? Yeah, which action should I do? I'll put it on crap cam for you so you can probably see the really bad blurred out image. Four? Oh, Jesus, alright. It's not your soldiers that are dying. Alright, well, as per Anonymous, as per Anonymous 1989's call, we are going a frag cannon, leaving us with one HP. Uh, so shit, I want to actually point more help. I mean, we have six armor, so it is a pretty fair call. So we've got four, uh, so three or higher here. No, 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 no. Oh, we get an eight. Good call. That was a good call, bro. Uh, so that's going to be four damage. Boom. Uh, and we get to encourage our ally for two turns. Which means uh, for the next two turns, they get plus one attack damage. And if they have double attack, they get plus one on the highest roll. Uh, which they do, so I'll get plus one attack on the highest roll. And it was a very tasty biscuit. They've, the twins have three health left. Uh, so she's going to try to heal now. And that dice is off the table. And she gets an eight, which gives her three back. Look at that. Like she only spent one action point. What do you know? Uh, all right. Uh, Ringy, we're going to use our encourage. So that'll be plus one to an attack here. So, um, oh, look, we've only got three health left. And she's got full health plus armor, so I'm going to... I don't know how Twitch works, bro. Um, how, do you, how do you normally sub on Twitch? <laughs> Here, let's, uh, let's have a look and how you, how, you, how you sub on Twitch. Go to Twitch. Do I have to activate a sub button? What's I don't understand what that means or what it does. Oh my god, I can see myself on Twitch. Um I can't follow myself, so that's a shame. Look at that. Providing links and everything. The subscribe button is, uh, you have to be a tier two. So you need to go out there and convince people to come to Twitch and watch so that I can then activate uh, being awesome. Uh, and get all the dollar, all the subscriber redos. I don't even know what subbing does, but yeah, I think you need to have a certain amount of people and you have to do it, you have to stream a certain amount of times a week and so many hours and stuff and then eventually you get to be an awesome Twitch person. Oh, it gets to be paid. Okay, well that's, yeah, I, I'm guessing the more than 
Uh, I, was, I was about to say two viewers, but one of those was probably me that was just on my Twitch channel. I digress. Let us get back to her rolling the dice. Alright. Uh, oh, which uh, we're going to go four. Probably should pick an action first. Let's go four. So we're going to go Ku Anu. Looking for threes or higher. Uh, so we've got a four and a seven. So the higher roll for encourage. So that's this one. We'll get the bonus damage. So that's going to be two damage. And then the four will also be two damage, funnily enough. So it's going to be four damage, which kills it. Plus it would have got harvest, which I would have got on back. But it's dead. So we recruit everything. Five and four. Five and four. The twins are dead, which means we reveal card 21. Dun 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 dun. Uh, increase ally hit points threshold by one. All right. Hit points by one. That means we get more health. Excellent. So we got six and six hit points. Uh, as you strike the final blow, the remaining twin falls on the body of his dead brother. It's a bit harsh. He pulls the cylinder out of his belt and presses his finger to the top. With a rush of wind, their bodies turn to dust and disappear into the cracks between the tile. The cylinder hits the ground and rolls off in the, to the shadows. Half a mask lies in front of you ominously. We must decide. I'm leaving this one up to you, Anonymous. Leave the mask and go after the cylinder. Take the half mask. Or leave them... Something about them makes you uneasy. We're taking the mask. Okay, blue and iron, let's take the mask. What do you think, Anonymous? Do it? Alright, sounds good to me. Alright, so we're going to take the mask. Uh, the twin's mask is the left side. Uh, it has slip up. If you roll one on an action, Encore, ally. Encore is... If an action misses, roll again, obviously. Uh, you may slip up three times. If you do, discard the twin's mask left side. Use cubes to keep count. Okay, so I think we'll give this to uh, Kidani. Uh, this is a combat one, so we can only have three of them on her. Uh, oh, we have to take the half mask. Reveal card 25. 23, 24, 25. All right, the dim. After a few twists and turns, you come to a dead end. The wall is in plain stone with one small square dead in its center. There are abstract symbols on it and a uh, horizontal slit in the middle. A horizontal would be the word I was actually looking for there. Do you have a key? If so, roll the dice equal to the number of keys you have. Did any of them match these symbols below? We have one key. So, we'll roll one of these funky little dice here and see if it matches one of our symbols. Uh, we've got the line with that, so that is this far one. Yes, there are a series of loud cracks. The wall in front of you slides open. You step in... I really need like a soundboard for this. You step into a corridor covered in prickly red moss. Reveal card 26. Slim streaks. Crimson drapes of haunting vegetation stretch down the walls like blood. It's as if the corridor itself has suffered wounds that have never healed. Along the floor are streaks of slimy goo. Whatever you could leak, this volume of nastiness is con certainly something to avoid. A few steps later, the floor changes. It turns from plain stone to decorative square tiles protruding slightly from the floor. They are adorned with the symbolism you have seen throughout the spire. The slime trails flow along the tiles in a deliberate way. This looks to be a ritualistic occurrence. We must decide if only... Uh, 
I will only step on the tiles with the slime trail, or I will not step on tiles sullied by the slime. What are we going to go? I'm going to vote with walk on the slime. We're going to walk on slime. Uh, so, I followed the slime. With a cautious step. Is the rain really loud? Can, or is, can you not hear it? Because it's like torrential downpour at the moment. Is that's that's a funny joke. <laughs> it's okay, the rain has died down now a little bit. It's still torrential, but it's died down. Okay. Uh, we followed the slime. With a cautious step, you move along the slime covered tiles. They are slick and it takes some time at some doing to keep from falling off. But you feel it's important to keep going. Each tile presses down as you put your weight on it, followed by a sharp cracking sound. You can't tell if this is a good thing, but you're still alive. After you step off the last tile, you look back and see the compressed tiles pop back in the order they were pushed down. Then there is silence. You see something twinkling on the floor in front of you. Reward. Coin of the Spire. Equip this card and reveal card 31. Um, sure, you can have the coin of the Spire. We got a coin. Card 31. Tale of Two Passages. Dun dun dun. You stand in front of two corridors. The right is at an incline with beds of inverted mushrooms and red moss draping down, as you can see in the pretty picture. Uh, the left descends into darkness. I must say, I love just the black and white with the red. It looks awesome. Uh, if Leo Frick is in your active party, Leo Frick is not in our active party. So we need to choose to head towards the fungus or down the dark corridor. Which way do we want to go, team? First person to decide gets to choose. Don't go in the dark at the 100% trap. <laughs> Alright, well, Anonymous was first, so we're not going in the dark, we're going to go to the fungus. So, 33. Look, there's a red card, bro. What have you done? Gah. The mushroom man, the mushroom man. The air is getting cooler and the mushrooms thicker as you ascend. The vegetation is so dense, you would need to clear a path to continue. You conclude that nobody could have come this way. So we should turn back, right? There are no signs of footprints or any other activity. You turn to head back. Oh, there we go. But... Something has crept up behind you. Dun, dun, dun. You attack. Reveal card 34. Uh, the Mushroom Man number one. Uh, it has 13 health. Look, this is uh, getting a little bit ridiculous with these cubes. So, d20 time. And we'll go uh, d12 for the armor. No, none of them had much. I'm going to go to the armor. Alright, so this one's got no armor, but it's got 13 health. Uh, the only problem with D20s, it has th 25 13s. Okay, it has, it has one attack, which is sp Spore Spray, but it has some special rules, so no action cards are used for this encounter. Uh, mushroom men start each turn with a standard attack which is their red bar, and end each turn with a recoup, which is the white bar. Uh, anytime you rest, spawn another mushroom man. Anytime your attack misses, spawn another mushroom man. 
up to a total of five. You only face additional Mushroom Man if the above conditions are met. If you survive the encounter, discard enemies that didn't come into play and reveal card 41. Okay, that, we've just got to... <laughs> I probably should have listened to you, but I mean, we've only got to attack one of them. Or well, we just can't miss or rest. But I've got, I've got confident in a killer ladies here. I think they can smash it. All right, so uh, let's use uh, Kadani here. We've got 13 health. So I think uh, let's just go... Let's just go out there straight away. I'm just going to go with a frag cannon straight off the bat. Risk it for the biscuit. So four, four action points here. Uh, looking for a three or higher. And we get a three. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, so that's going to be four damage. And we get a shield, but we're already at our limit. So that doesn't help us. Uh, so four damage, taking it down to nine. Uh, and then we're going to attempt to re-heal. Uh, or we could rebuild. What does rebuild do? Plus one armor. Uh, that gets us our armor back. Uh, so we'll just heal. So we've got a seven, so we get two of that back, which is pretty good. All right, uh, Rangi is going to... Uh, the courage is gone from the previous one round. Let's go... I think we'll just try a bamboo punch first. So that's just going to be one. Uh, so we're looking for a five or higher, and we get a one. That was awesome. Uh, what is chant? So she can chant instead of heal. So chant is take de zero damage from all attacks. So on a seven or eight, next turn we won't get any damage. Uh, she's only taken one action. Let's try and chant. See what we can get. So we get a five, and we would have healed, but oh, what are you going to do? All right, Mushroom Man is going to... Oh, we missed. So that means we get an additional Mushroom Man. Yeah. Anytime you rest Mushroom Man... Uh, anytime your attack misses, spawn another Mushroom Man. Yep. So we've got a secondary Mushroom Man. Oh, this one's only got five health. That's a, that's a bonus. Well, that one you can't really see. Um, it's got all the same stat lines, so we'll just put him under like that. Okay, so let us go. Uh, we'll use uh, Ringy, and we're going to use Babaloo because that attacks all of them. And on a six to eight, we're going to get damage. So we go twice, which I forgot to do last turn. We should have attacked twice with that other attack, which we wouldn't have got. I don't know if that would have summoned another one, but let's just say it didn't. Uh, so we get a six and a one. Uh, so a six is a hit, so it does one damage to both of them. So it takes it down to eight. And four on the top one, and the other one misses, but we still hit them both, so no more new mushrooms. Uh, she's going to attempt to heal eight. She heals three. Uh, I didn't attack last turn with them. All right, well, we better do that now. Uh, first one, he's going to attack uh, her and gets a seven, which will be three damage. So she would have had one off already. She's got three. And B, which is impaired vision ally. Uh, minus one on the next action roll. If you have double, minus one on the highest. Okay, so we'll give them their health back and we'll do our turn again. Because it would have changed, would have changed the game desperately. Uh, so it's three armor. Oh, sorry. Uh, and then the other one's going to attack. Uh, attacks our first girl. Gets a six, so that is two damage. And impaired vision as well, so minus one for both of them. Uh, in 
impaired vision. There we go. So they're both at minus one next round. All right, well, we'll go for her again. So let's go our Babalu for a zero action point. It's on a six, two, and eight. And we get a three and a five. So that is double miss. So that is another mushroom man. Okay. This could not end. This probably may not end well for us. Uh, and we're going to attempt to heal here. Six. That heals us one. All right. Time to pull out the big guns. Do we want to... Uh, we can probably take out one of them with the cannon. But that'll also only leave us with two. Yeah, let's do it. Oh no, she'll have no health, she'll die. We can't use the frag cannon. I think we'll use the mini cannon. So that's going to be two. Uh, and we need a three or higher here. Uh, and we'll attack. Well, the most we can get is three damage here. Um, which one should we attack? The four health, five health, and nine health. Most damage we can do is three here. The main guy, alrighty. The nine healther. Alright, so we need a three or higher here. Three. Alright, so that's going to be two damage. Taking it down to seven. Well, we got him, so that means we don't get another mushroom man. Alright, she's going to attempt to heal. She gets an eight, which is uh, three block. Which means we can use the cannon next round. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, they are, they were impaired, so that actually would have missed. That would have missed. So we still would have got our health back, but they'll still be on nine. Uh, impaired's gone, impaired's gone. Oh, she still hasn't gone yet. So that is another mushroom man, unfortunately. They get weaker, which is a bonus. But I still feel like we're about to get flogged. Uh, Alright. Uh, and I think she's gone? Or she went first, didn't she? Yes, she went first. Alright, and Mushroom Man. Alright, big guy. He's going to attack. Uh, Ringy. And we want a 1 to 4 here. Nope, a 6. Does 2 damage. That's our armor gone. Plus 1 health. And it does the B, which is impaired vision again. Uh, ch -ch -ch. And it's going to attempt to heal. It doesn't. Alright, number 2 here is going to attack our, big, our armored girl. Does 5, so that is 1 damage. Takes an armor. And A is Snuff, which is minus one to our recoup roll next round. Okay. Alright, my camera is severely lagging. It'll catch up at some point. There we go. It's caught up. Look at that. Spectacular. Uh, Alright, so our fourth one here. He's going to attack Ringy. And get a two, which is a miss. All the health is, all the damage is the same, isn't it? Yep, all the attacks are the same. Uh, and it's going to try and heal. Get to six, which means it heals one. Uh, can't go any higher. Can't go any higher. Alright, uh, this one's going to attack. Gets a six, which is going to be ringy. Rolls an eight, which is a four 
health. Oh, we could lose Rangi here. We could lose Rangi. Uh, so that's B. So she's got impaired vision twice. Damn, it's gonna that's gonna suck for her for two rounds. Um, and that one's gonna attempt to heal, which it can't anyway. So that's their turn. Back to us. Wow. Uh, okay, Rangi is uh, in some dire here. Hmm. Okay. Well, possibly we've got f we can cannon up, frag cannon up, and take out uh, the four or the three, which I think is going to be a smarter option than taking out the nine. Um. Let us frag cannon away. All right, we're looking for a three or higher here. And we get a four. Woohoo! All right, so a four is going to be four damage. So let's kill the four damage one. So that one's gone. Uh, and we get an armor back. Beautiful. All right, and with that, I'm going to have to Oh, no, we'll take out the smaller ones. We've got to dwindle them down. They're doing four attacks at the moment. If we did that one, they're still doing four attacks. All right, I'll be back in a second, guys. Alrighty, and we're back. Okay, so last we did, we uh, used a frag cannon, we fired, so let's try and heal up here. And we get a one, which does not heal. Let's go to uh, Rangi here. So Rangi, she's going to have a minus one to her roll, so because she's impaired. Uh, minus one in the next activation, yep. So that's going to make it hard to do. We're going to have to do Babalu because we've got only one health. We can't spend it or she dies. So let's go Babalu, which is double and hits all of them. 
Uh, so we got a five and a six. Uh, so that is a miss. So that is another mushroom man. Uh, uh, final encounter rules. This is the final mushroom man. The encounter ends when all of the mushroom men are defeated. Your allies are all defeated. Or inhale is triggered above. Uh, so if the, this mushroom man gets an eight. Okay. All right. So that uh, has not going well for us. All right. The big man's going to go. He's going to hit Rangy. So I think Rangy's about to die. Gets an eight. Rangy's dead. Goodbye, Rangy. Uh, so she will drop the keys and stuff, which will go to Kadini. Uh, so her death move is Chant on the chosen target. So Chant is uh, take zero damage from all attacks. So we'll give Chant. So our pair's gone. That's gone. So we'll give Chant to Kadini here for one period so she cannot take damage uh, until her next turn, pretty much, which is pretty sweet. But she's dead, and our new ally is. Doo -doo -doo -doo, puppy power! Leo Frick. Okay, so Leofric, the Forester. Uh, Antlered, Splintered, Jack Attack, and Mash, Timber Hack. Um, he's got some uh, little symbols, which mean he damages how much he rolls. Uh, what do we got? So he's at five, so that'll be six with our modifier over here. And three armor. Okay. Uh... So, that was our big guy's attack, so we go number five, so her, can't damage her, so there's no point. Oh yes there is, because we can guess still get the uh, the modifier here, so Spore Splat, gets a three, doesn't do any damage. Uh, and our last one, going to attack Leofric, uh, on a five, no, and does it heal, no, no, no can heal anyway, so it's all good. They're all full health. Okay, so we've got to kill some mushroom men here. At the rate we're going, we are going to run out of allies because we've only got two allies left and we've only <laughs> been in three fights. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so I think we'll go with Leo Frick first and we'll do his heal, which potentially can heal Kadani to get her some action points so she can do a stronger attack. But in saying that, a big man here, he's got, he drinks beer and he looks like he can do some damage. So I think we'll go Jack Attack, which is two action points. Uh, and on a four to six does three damage. Uh, does three damage for four above, but he also gets some bonuses there. So he gets a one. This is why I'm dying. If I was playing D and D right now, I would be the most mutilated and murdered character on earth. God. Cool. All right. He's going to attempt to heal, and we get a five. We heal at least, so we'll give one to Kadane here. So Katani, she will do a Bulwark Bash, which is one action point. So we need three or above here. So we get a seven, so that's going to be two damage. And we'll do that, I guess, on the lower one, so we're not getting four swings at us. Uh, she's going to attempt to heal. She gets an 8, which gives her 3 back. Hoo -hoo. Back getting back in the game there. Alright, let's go back to the mushrooms. <laughs> that is why I DM. 
<laughs> uh, but as a DM, I get 20s. Just because I'm an amazing DM. Okay. Let's go to the monsters. Alright, the first mushroom man. He is going to attack uh, Kadini. And he's looking for a 1 to 4. It's not enough. So, chance is gone. So, she can take damage now. Okay, so Mushroom Man number two. Oh, sorry, first one's got to try and heal. He doesn't heal. Mushroom Man number two. He got an eight. Oh, eight will be him, sorry. Oh, lucky. Now we roll for a damage. One, doesn't damage. He goes to heal, doesn't heal. All right, uh, last one. He's going to hit Kadani. Goes to hit for an eight, which is five damage. So that is four shields gone. And one health. Uh, and an A, which is Bleed Ally. Uh, bleed, minus one HP per a turn. Uh, so, that will be Bleed. So she's going to lose a HP at the start of her turn. Uh, that one's going to attempt to heal. Doesn't heal, doesn't matter anyway. You don't have to actually show what you roll. <laughs> it's true. I don't. And that just... It's because I'm amazing. And always roll crits. No, I'm actually pretty bad at rolling, even when I'm a DM as well. I have to say. Uh, Alright. What do we got? Let's go uh, a big man again first, because we're going to lose HP on her to start off with. I think we'll go Antlet, which is going to be zero HP, zero action points, because we get to attack twice, and it attacks them all. There's only going to be one health, one damage. Uh, no, let's go... We'll go Jack Attack. So that's two. Uh, looking for four and above. That's a five, so it does three damage. I guess we'll do it to this one. Boom. So that's him gone. Only got two left now, uh, so he's going to attempt to heal. He gets a six, which gets him one back. Uh, she's going to go, so she does her bleed, which means she loses her HP. Uh, she's going to have to... She potentially could die if we do that. Uh, look, no more of these are going to come out, so we can rest. So I believe that's what this last one okay, said. Uh, this is the final mushroom man. The encounter ends when all mushrooms are defeated. Your allies are all defeated or inhale is triggered. Uh, yeah, so we can rest now. So let's just rest. So she's going to rest. Like kind of there, so now we roll to heal. Six, so that will be one plus our bonus one for resting. All right, our mushroom men. First one's going to hit four. Her, luckily, we rested. All right, and gets a seven. So that is going to be three health. Lucky we rested. And B, which is impaired vision, which from memory was minus one on the next roll. Uh, and he's going to attempt to heal. He gets a four, which means he doesn't heal. All right. This one, he's going to hit uh, Kadani again. Oh, God, we've lost three. We need a one to four. That's a seven. She's dead. She did. Her death move is rebuild three times on chosen targets. So rebuild is plus one armor so we'll give that to a big man so we get three turns where we'll get plus one armor and she's gone oh things are not looking good for us all right millicent we got five so that'll be six with our modifier and three armor 
Alrighty. What do we do here? We've only got one, one ally left after this. So three three more allies to can die. Alright. Let's uh and this deck is still rather large. Alright, let's go uh let's go Millicent then. Uh, we'll go Silk Strike, which is going to cost us two. Oh, no. Let's go Base, which is going to cost us three. And we're looking for a, a three or higher here. We get a four, so that is four damage. And we'll do it... We'll do it to the big guy here, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't matter which one we kill. So four, so that's going to take it down to five. So they're both on five health. Uh, she's going to... Oh, she's got cleanse as well. So let's cleanse. Remove one status effect. Uh, no, she's going to attempt to heal. I don't want She doesn't get it. Uh, a big man here. Actually, uh, when the other chick died, we'll give the twin mask to the big man here. And she can keep the key in the coin. So big guy's now got the mask after uh, Kadani died. He is going to try and do... Well, we've got three health. Uh, Jack attack can do three damage, which isn't enough to kill anyone. But it's also got pierce, which is voice armor. doesn't matter. All luck. He's minus one to a roll as well. Uh, look, let's just go Splinter, which will cost us one. So five, so we're looking for sixes here. And he gets two attacks. Uh, not enough. Uh, so that doesn't hit anyone, and he's going to heal. Five, he gets one back. Okay. We're not going very well through this, I must say. Alright, Mushroom Man number one is going to go. Alright, let's... Uh, who's he going to hit? Uh, Melissant. And... An H. That's four damage. Woo! I blame all of this on you, Anonymous, because you told us to go to the mushrooms, so it is 100% your fault that we're about to die. Uh, and that has B, which means impaired, so... Uh, she is now impaired. Uh, and does he heal? Six, he heals one, so puts him back up to six health. <laughs> Look, we could have went down the dark alley. And you're like, no, that's dangerous. Instead, now we're fighting mushrooms that are kicking our ass. Five of them. Okay, so mushroom number two is going to go. What do we got? Uh, one, so it's Melissant. And it gets a one and misses. And it doesn't need to heal. Alright. Group attack time. Oh, we could have used our mask last time to re-roll. Hmm. Um... But we'll use Antlid on him because we'll tr try and get some health back. Uh, so he's no longer impaired. So we're looking for sixes here, but we've got two attacks and it hits both people. Uh, so we've got one. So you may use slip three times if you do discard twins. Uh, if you roll, you roll one on an action. And call Ella. Uh, 
Uh, so we rolled a one, which means he gets encore, which means he gets to re-roll one of the dice. So we'll re-roll one of these dice, and it's a three. So we should use that once. Uh, so it's one hit to both of them. So they both take one damage, so that goes down to a five on him. And a four on him. D6 is going to be much easier. Five. Uh, and then we're going to attempt to heal. So let's get an eight, come on. Nothing. Uh, Alright, barbarian girl. Your turn. She got two health. She ain't got much. So, backstab can get a three, but also means she'll probably die. But at this rate, she's probably going to die anyway. Um, let's just go needle dart. So zero action costs us. So we're looking for four. Oh, she's impaired, so we're looking for sixes. Three does not get it. And she attempts to heal. Six. That gets her one back, and she's no longer impaired. Uh, so he would have rebuilt once, twice, so he's got one more rebuild left, but he doesn't need it because he's got full armor. Um, technically, he can give it to her, I guess. I don't know. Do we think that he's rebuild? We could give it to her? Because you can give, when you heal, you can give that over. probably can uh, let's just say you can so that will give her back to armor okay uh, so it's his attack, isn't it? Or has he already attacked? He already attacked and missed. Alright, Mushroom Man. Who's he going at? Six. Leo Frick. And... He gets a three, which misses. Uh, he attempts to heal. He does not heal. Second Mushroom Man. He's going to attack Leo Frick. And he gets a four, which misses. He needs a five. Does he heal? He does not heal. Good round of combat there from them. All right, let's go with Leo Frick. So this will be his last rebuild, so that's gone. Which will give her one more armor. Taking her up to full. Um, okay, what do we got? Three action points. Okay, let's spend one and we'll go a splinter. Roll on two dice, or two attacks. Uh, we got fours. We need fives. So uh, we didn't roll a one, so the twins' mask doesn't work. We just miss. All right, we're going to heal. We got seven, so that's two back. That's that's not bad. All right, uh, Melissant. What do we got? We got three. Plus she's got three armor, so that's pretty good. Um. We get Silk Strike. Potentially, if we roll a six, we can do four damage and kill one of them. So let's let's do that. Let's risk it. We'll spend two of her three remaining health, and we need a six here to kill one, or an eight will get us an additional health back. Eight crits like a boss. So that's four. So that kills that one, and gets her health back as a bonus. And now she's going to attempt to heal. She gets a four, which gets her health back. Like she never lost it. Alright, and uh, Mushroom Man, he's going to go. Who's he going to hit? 
a seven, Leo Frick. And he gets a two, which is not enough to hit. Does he heal? A one does not heal. All right, what do we got? Five. Anyone do five damage here? Timberland does, but it'll kill him to get it. Oh no, we'll spend three to do mash. And we need a. Uh, oh no, we can't get five. We get four. All right, we just need a four. We need a four. Four or higher here will get us a good amount of damage. A seven gets us four damage, so that puts him down to one. Uh, Leo Frick will heal, and he gets an eight, and gets three back. Uh, Melissant will go. She's going to perform. Well, she got three, so she'll do Silk Strike again. Try and finish him off. Uh, looking for a four or higher. And we get an eight, which kills it. And we have successfully destroyed the mushrooms that Anonymous tried to poison us with. Uh, so everyone gets their health back, puts him back up to six. Okay, so what do we do? Uh, if you survive the encounter, discard enemies you didn't come into play with and reveal card 41. All right, Soothing Ooze. Increase allies armor threshold by one. I guess that's a bonus. There you go, look at that. Something good came out of it. Black ooze spurts out of the dead mushroom men. Oddly, the sounds are soothing. Next to one of the slain creatures is a key covered in ooze. You pick it up, half expecting it to jump out of your hand and burst into flames. Thankfully, it remains still. You hear a voice as you slip it into your pocket. You must act. I'll investigate the plea for help. Or... I'll answer the voice from here without going any closer. Uh, either way, we get the spore key. Uh, which, uh, during encounters using this action, using the action card deck, if an enemy's two action occurs, it happens again on the next turn, once per an encounter. Uh, Alright, which one should we go? Should we... Uh, Answer the voice from here. I don't want to rush in this time. <laughs> uh, I will answer the voice from here without getting any closer. Okay, so we have to get card 45. Then there was blood. That's a good title for just casually hanging back. Where are you? Can you see me? There is no answer. Hello? Shapes emerge from the darkness. At least 20 mushroom men are slithering towards you. You turn to make a quick exit, but from your surprise, just as many underdwellers are behind you. Their antennas ignite and their eyes burn red. They rush past you and attack the mushroom men. The dead cover the ground quickly. You have no idea which way to go. The ground is now soaked in black and red blood as you stumble around, desperately looking for a way out. The sounds of battle stop. The mushroom men are beaded. Their corpses are being collected and placed into barrels. As quietly as you can, you crawl away through the dead in hopes you won't be seen. As slowly as you worm your way across the ground, a blade drives through your back and pins you to the floor. Your murdered body, along with the bodies of your allies and fallen mushroom men, are tightly packed into barrels, loaded up on carts, and carried off into the deep. Ending 2. There you go. I would like to say uh, I feel accomplished, but being stabbed in the back by a sword after being flogged by five mushroom men didn't quite get us there. Not even a dice roll, chances five. No, not even a dice roll. We, uh, we simply just got stabbed in the back whilst whimpering around on the ground. Alrighty, well, uh, I guess... I guess that's it for this stream. Um, well, 
thank you uh, to my two viewers who watched and to people who will watch us in the future on Twitch or YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This has been super happy, awesome gaming time. And we have been playing Spire's End. And uh, I guess we'll do this again. And hopefully we might get somewhere. Um, or we'll probably die in sweet, sweet agony again. Um, and I'll attempt to, I guess I'll attempt to remember <laughs> which which ones we uh, we did. Yeah, round two. What, round two now? <laughs> no, not doing round two now. Just go left next time. As far as we know, we could have died going that way anyway. We could have went the complete wrong way. We'll have to go down the dark alley next time. Time to end. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you all next time.